Hey, welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode. Hey, everyone, how's it going? Sam here, your host, back again for a brand new exciting episode of the mystery unboxing record video heavy metal. Oops, all metal edition as per usual. If you're new to the channel, again, my name is Sam. I do this every single week. I uh, alternate between opening up a bunch of cool looking records and movies um, but that particularly cater to heavy metal film scores and also movies that are more kind of like horror, cult, sci-fi, just weird, bizarre kind of stuff. So if any of those words sound good to you, then feel free to like and subscribe. Check out the channel. There's a bunch of videos you can go check out if you want to see more. A lot more record videos. Again, this one is, uh, oops, all metal, as per usual. And so, let's just get straight to it, shall we? I did away with the cardboard boxes because I just hate finagling them. So these are not a surprise to me anymore, but they will be a surprise to you guys. So, without further ado, the first record is this guy right here. No stranger if you know me, Electric Wizard, Come My Fanatics. This is their second LP, comes right before the big one, Dope Throne. And honestly, it's hard. It, yeah, I would say that it's pretty underrated. You know, obviously when people talk a wizard, they go straight to Dope Throne and I get why. My personal favorite is Wish Cult Today, followed by Dope Throne. But this one, while not my favorite, I still think is incredibly good. Um, this one has songs like Return Trip. This one also has Wizard in Black, which is one of my favorite wi electric wizard songs of all time. And this one comes it's gonna be a little hard to see, um, but it comes on a sparkle red variant. You can't see the sparkles, but it is red. Um, but the sparkles are definitely there. So this is put out by Rise Above Records, and I know they've been reissuing some stuff. I think this year and maybe last year as well on like these sparkle variants. Um, so they did like Dope Throne. They did some stuff for like Unblasted and the Deadbeats um, Blood Ceremony. I think maybe two others. But this one is one that I've never had and I've always wanted to own. So this to me is just like a no-brainer. So I gotta support the wizard. I've seen them live a few times and every time it's just like fantastic. And they're one of the few bands that show their love of like horror and cult cinema, which I know a lot of bands do. But one of the few bands that like kind of capture that feeling, you know, these guys are definitely stoked and kind of like the Satanist like hammer horror stuff but also kind of like those like drug fueled biker films as well and i feel like this band really captures that sound quickly but and honestly the rawness of come my fanatics which i think is their first album to like really capture what electric wizard is all about i like the first one don't get me wrong but this one is one that i think really took them to the next level and that next level brought them to dope throne so if you like dope throne definitely worth checking out come my fanatics and if you've never heard Electric Wizard before, then listen to Dope Throne, you know, of course, you know. Um, but if you're new to the whole stoner doom thing, it's very, it's not aggressive, it's just loud. And it's like this wafting, loud riffs that are kind of groovy. And you're expected to kind of like sit back in your chair and just let it soak you in. You know, just, just get enveloped by it, soak it in, just go for the ride. Again, I would suggest Dope Throne as the big one. But if you listen to Dope Throne and you want something a little more similar to that, I think Wish Cult Today is a little... It's like, it's produced a little too well, so I feel like there's definitely a little difference between that one and Dope Throne, a little jump. But this one's much closer to Dope Throne, so if you like Dope Throne and you want something a little more similar to like that raw, smoky feeling, their second album, Come My Fanatics, no-brainer. You gotta do it. Again, Electric Wizard, Come My Fanatics. Not my favorite album by them, but one that I really, really, really like. Next one up is one that I had gotten a little flyer for in a 7-inch I opened up, I think in the last video, actually. And that's Spectral Voice in their new album, Necrotic Demos. This is a compilation of collecting stuff from their first demo, as well as all the splits they did. So the split of, like, Bloody Mutation, Bastem, and Adrenaline. And... All those ones have been wildly out of print for so long. They just repressed uh, the Bloody Temptation split. And honestly, it's reasons like this, which is why I love these guys so much. You know, there's just such transparency for their love of the metal scene. If you follow any of them on social media, 
they call out scalpers, people who like, I guess the scalper equivalent to record collectors, the people who buy first pressings and bearings and then throw them on eBay or Discogs for just like hundreds of dollars, you know, same thing for Record Store Day. It's the reason why that day sucks, you know. I love Record Store Day, but like those scalper people just buy absolute crap at once. And I think nothing shows a giant middle finger better than being like, hey, let's repress the Blood Incantation split. But also, since maybe they don't have control over repressing the older stuff or the other splits, let's just cook it all on a compilation demo, you know? This has everything that you're missing out on right here, and if you're not into buying first presses, which, yeah, we all want to, but, like, we're not going to shell out hundreds of bucks for it, then you can just buy this one right here, which is readily available, in stock, and also really, really cheap. Um, it's got this little, I love that little logo at the bottom, this little skull. Big fan of that, you know? Um, also love the fact that, you know, aside from the really cool insert, it also comes with this. Where did it go? Where did it go? This little guy right here. This little poster. Stay deaf. You know, I have a t-shirt with this logo. Logo. This design. You know, stay deaf thing on it. And it's just like, it's one of my favorite metal shirts, you know. Picked it up when I saw them live a few years ago. Excellent show. So they're the kind of guys who hang out, you know, at the merch booth before and after the set. You know, talking to fans, selling their stuff. Big, big fan. You guys know Blood Incantation. You know Spectral Voice. There's not really much more I can add to it that you don't already know to their story. But, like, it's reasons like this that, like, really show why I think not only is their music par none, but, like, those people in general are just, they just live for that scene. And not in, like, a kind of, like, guarded, like, this is our scene kind of way. You know, those are pushy boys. But more kind of like, like, hey, like, we just want to contribute to, like, what we love most. And we're just going to put out some sick records, you know, and make them readily available. So, big fan. Again, Spectral Voice, Necronic Demos. You can pick it up now. I think they have like a big cartel. I think it's just called Necronic Doom. You can pick that up. And also they're split with Blood Incantation. So I know they share members, but hey, if you're missing out on those pieces for your collection, now's a great time to pick them up. Next one I want to give a shout out to. This next one is from a label called Wise Grind Records. A label that I honestly was not familiar with at all, you know, until this came out. Um, but I'll go into why I want to give these guys a shout out. But the record in question is the new split from Ripped to Shreds and Brain Corrosion. Brain Corrosion's a band that, like, honestly, never heard of before the split. Ripped to Shreds is the masterpiece behind... Masterpiece, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the master behind Ripped to Shreds is Andrew Lee. And I am a huge fan of Andrew Lee. Huge fan of Ripped to Shreds. The split exhumed from Eastern Tones is just, like, just another step in his legacy. Andrew Lee has put out a couple of Ripped to Shreds records, which are all amazing. Um, but also, just as a figure in the metal scene, I just really appreciate his views and what he has to say. Festival Magazine did a piece with him not too long ago, earlier this year, um, about like racism and representation in the heavy metal scene. You know, he was an American born of a Taiwanese descent, which is something that is very under, you know, it's just underrepresented in the heavy metal scene, particularly in America, you know, as you can tell, heavy metal really whitewashed, you know, um, so having people like him on there, it's just like, it's something that's like, it's, it's something that the scene has just been sorely missing for so long. It's a new voice coming in and this year has been really good for new voices, you know, stuff like Femme and Nazgul has been putting out really good music as well. Um, Vile Creature, same thing goes for them. Um, and I think representation really matters in the heavy metal music. And, you know, the more voices that are in there, the more I'm for it, you know? Um, so this split is actually really, really cool. It comes on a really cool looking record. A record that, like, looks exactly like the mock-up you see online. online. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That just looks really cool. I'm, I think this looks beautiful, you know? It kind of looks like candy. But I want to give a shout-out to Wise Grind Records. Um, I know a lot of smaller labels tend to kind of package their orders, you know, with like flyers, stickers, stuff like that, which always appreciate. Always, always gonna love that. Always gonna be a big fan, you know. Bigger labels like Nuclear Blast or Beer Egg, like, you know, they don't care. Like, they're gonna get their money no matter what. They have no need to put out flyers for like a square, you know. But stuff like this, for instance, they included a sticker of the album as well as a sticker of their label, Wise Grind Records. They also included this cool looking pin of the album art 
which I was not expecting. It's a little hard to see on the camera. Um, but that's really, really cool. Comes with a flyer poster, you know, that you see in record stores right here, which is really, really cool. Showcasing the split. And lastly, it comes with a little advertisement for the label itself. And the thing I love about this is this little tagline, Tasty Grind with Twisted Minds. I think it's just hysterical. It's just absolutely amazing. Tasty Grind. It's just like, hats off to you guys. So Wise Grind Records, Wise Grind Records. Um, same package, super well. Have their own like personal tape around it with like the Wise Grind logo on it. And it's just like, it's just one of the best uh, records that I've ever opened up. You know, I just had so much fun seeing how great it was packaged, but seeing all these goodies, you know, it's just like, that's, that's what it's all about. That's what everyone wants when they want, when they like open up a record, you know? So super big shout out to Wise Grind Records. You guys absolutely kill it. Amazing package. Everyone check them out and buy stuff from them and get a bunch of goodies they, they will need. Again, this is Brain Corrosion and Rip to Shreds. Exhumes from Eastern Tomes and Exhumed. I always butcher that word. Exhumed from Eastern, <laughs> Exhumed from Eastern Tombs. Uh, big fan of this one. Check it out. You know, came out this year. Absolutely worth, 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 worth checking out. And the last record I'm going to show for you guys today is the magical seven inch hour. Woo! And that one is none other than Full of Health. This is a split collab uh, of Full of Hell and the band Health. Health just put out a new album earlier this year. Actually pretty recently. Um, and it contains this track on it. Um, but this one is pressed by Closed Casket Activities, a label that I've purchased for in the past and they've always been really cool. Uh, ship super fast. You know, they ship goodies in their, their packages as well. They've always just been really, really cool. Um, this one comes on a a cute little baby pink, you know? Uh, nothing says grind than, you know, cute little baby pink. Um, especially if you call it full health grind. I don't know what you want to call them. They're just like their own thing, in my opinion. I've always been a fan of them. Seen full health countless times, to be honest. I've seen them a lot of times. Um, if you look real hard, you can find a video of them playing live on YouTube, and you'll see me jump on a stage and sing with them. Highlight of my uh, concert-going career, to be honest. Um, health is a band I saw once. I saw them open for Crystal Castle when they were touring their third album before all the bad news broke and kind of stopped revisit revisiting that band in general. But Health is one that always stuck with me. I remember they opened and they said, Hi, we're Health. We're from California. And they're all standing there. And then they all just dropped to the ground, slithered out of their guitar straps, and ran over. Each of them like ran to like, different instruments, picked up the other instruments, and started playing and i just remember standing in the audience being like <laughs> what, what is that so their sense of humor is super appreciated you might know them they had, they had a really good single they scored the max Payne 3 uh soundtrack for that video game great score uh great single for it too i think it's called like tears or something like that uh but health i've always been a big fan of so when i see that there's a collab with full health and health i'm gonna grab it i'm gonna support it so yeah you know, again, trying to keep these videos a little shorter than per usual. So thank you guys for hanging out. This is all I got to show for you today. I'll be back again next week with some cool stuff, you know, again. Um, if you're new to the channel, you know, once again, my name's Sam. I host this. I do this every single week. If you like what you see, check out the channel. There's more videos just like this. Feel free to drop some comments in the below in the video. You know, I love checking out new bands. I love checking out new promos. I love just scoping out new records coming out that I just like. I like archiving. I like sharing, you know, with you guys. I have a lot of fun doing it. So most of all, thank you all for hanging out and watching. I'm Sam, and I'll see you guys all next time. Take care, everyone.